centrifugal pumps are the most preferred pumping devices in the hydraulic world. In this video, we will have a conceptual overview of working of centrifugal pumps. At the heart of the system lies the impeller. It has got a series of curved vanes fitted inside shroud plates. The impeller is always immersed in water. When the impeller is made to rotate, it makes the fluid surrounding it also rotate. This imparts centrifugal force to water particles and the water moves radially out. Since rotational mechanical energy is transferred to the fluid, at discharge sides of impeller, both pressure and kinetic energy of water will rise. At suction side, water is getting displaced, so a negative pressure will be induced at I. Such low pressure helps in sucking fresh water stream into the system again, and this process continues. This is the reason why priming is important for centrifugal pumps. If no water is present initially, the negative pressure developed by rotating air at eye of impeller will be negligibly small to suck fresh stream of water. Impeller is fitted inside a casing. So the water moving out will be collected inside it and will move in the same direction of rotation of impeller to the discharge nozzle. Here you can note one specialty of casing. It has got increasing area along the flow direction. Such increasing area will help in accommodating newly added water stream and will also help in reducing exit flow velocity. Reduction in flow velocity will result in increase in static pressure, which is required to overcome resistance of pumping system. Here you can see more details of vanes inside impeller. They are backward curved vanes with state-of-the-art eye configuration. This vein is extracted from a Curloscar pump model. If pressure at suction side of impeller goes below vapor pressure of water, a dangerous phenomenon could happen. Water will start to boil, forming vapor bubbles and spoil impeller materials over time. This phenomenon is known as cavitation. More the suction head, lesser should be the pressure at suction side to lift water. This fact puts a limit to maximum suction head a pump can have. Careful pump selection is required to avoid problem of cavitation. Current impeller type is enclosed. Semi-open and open impellers are also in use depending upon application. If the working fluid is cloggy in nature, it is preferred to use open kind of impeller. But they are slightly less efficient. Mechanical design of centrifugal pump is always challenging. A shaft is used to connect between the impeller and motor. Since water pressure inside casing is huge, a proper sealing arrangement is imperative in arresting water leakage through shaft casing clearance. Mechanical seal or stuffing box based mechanism is used for this purpose. Impeller is mounted on bearings, but at suction side of impeller it is not advisable to fit a bearing since it will block the flow. So bearings have to be fitted at the other end. This means impeller is mounted like a cantilever. For high flow rate pumps, a bearing housing with cooling oil is necessary for improving life of bearings. We thank Curliscar Brothers for their technical support and creation of this video.